Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV, guys. The one we're checking out one of your recommendations. This is going to be Genesis Koran. Is the Koran preserved? What about the Bible? Zaki Hussein versus Samuel Green debate. Guys, let's get straight into this. Two thousand and eighteen, guys. Like, allow me to break the ice. I'd particularly like to just briefly look now at the Qurans as they exist in the world today, because then I've been told that they're all the same, but they're actually not the same. I've got two Qurans here. What are called the Qur'ats, the readings, and I want to want us to look at these readings. So this is the Quran according to Imam Hafs, this, uh, which we would use in Britain and Australia. And this is the one from North Africa, according to Imam Warsh. And these are the types of differences we find. Let's look at that first one. It says, Kul Rabi Yailamu, which is, Say, my Lord knows. But in the Hafs version, it says, Kala Rabi Yailamu, which is, He said, my Lord knows. Now that actually changes the subject of the verse. In the first one, it's God giving a command. In the second, it's a record of what Muhammad said. So that's a different subject. Or you'll see here, um, in, in the Hafs version, it's katala, uh, which is the active of kill. But in the wash, it's, it's the passive, was killed. And so again, that, that changes the meaning. The prophet is either killing somebody or he's being killed. Or again here, and, and we find many of these types of ones. And, uh, and remember, the... the, the, the the Warsh one has a slightly different script. It's that they just have a slightly different way of pointing their, 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 their decretal dots. But you'll see that it's we give mercy or he gives mercy. So it changes the pronoun. Now, do not get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that the Quran's corrupt by doing this. right? Because I actually think that this is something we both have. We both have small variants within our text. And we just shouldn't exaggerate about it. And that's all I'm asking Muslim leaders to do. To, to not exaggerate about our books. We've got ample evidence to show that the Bible's been well preserved and we can correct any errors that have crept in. And I believe we can do a similar thing with the Quran, but the Quran itself has a whole range of variants. There's actually around one, what have we got here, the number? 1,354 no. uh, differences between those two Qurans. So that they're not all the same. All right, everyone. Chill. He talks about the Quran wasn't preserved because there were many differences. One says, um, um, Allah said, um, say, and another one says, he said. But then what Samuel fails to mention is the difference between what us Muslims got and what Christians have got is we got multiple readings. Christians have got variant readings. Say Bahari, volume 6, book 61, um, hadith number 514, the Prophet Muhammad on whom BP said, this Quran has been revealed to me, recited in seven different ways. So recite of it whichever way is easier for you, or read as much as it may be easy for you. Now, these, we got one skeleton text and multiple ways to recite it, and these multiple ways complement each other. For example, in the opening statement, um, opening surah of the Quran, one way to recite it is, King of the Day of Judgment. Another way to recite it is owner of the Day of Judgment. Now God is both owner and king of the Day of Judgment. We, we believe that and both of these readings go back to the Prophet Muhammad and whom be peace. Whereas the Bible manuscripts, um, they cause a lot of problems. For example, in John chapter 7, when Jesus was asked whether he's going to a feast, According to some manuscripts, he says, I am not yet going, but then, he's, then he hid and went to the feast. According to some manuscripts, he says, I am not going, and then he, hid, he basically hid and went to the feast. In other words, he told a lie. As Bruce Metzger points out, the scribes added the word yes to get around this problem. Now, if this reading is the original reading, that means Jesus told a lie. Hence, Jesus wasn't sinless. Hence, Jesus wasn't the perfect sacrifice. Hence, there was no um, crucifixion. See how one little word, one manuscript variant can actually change the whole theology of Christianity. Also, in the baptism, according to the Gospel of Luke, in the oldest manuscripts, God says to um, Jesus, this day have I begotten thee. But as Bruce Metzger mentions, scribes changed this because this actually showed that Jesus was adopted at the baptism rather than being the eternal son of God.
The ordinary people, poor people, they don't know what's going on. What game is being played? Who knows? Now, you mentioned that the different Qurans are just different readings, while in the Bible they're variants. No, no, no. They're variants. that The Hadith I gave you, where the first one, remember it said, by the male and the female, and then the next one said, by him who created the male and the female. That is a textual variant. Kul or colour changes the subject of the verse. That is a, a variant. It's not just, oh, they just bring out different meanings. They change the subject. The book must have a meaning. You can't just apply limitless numbers of meaning to it, otherwise it has its meaninglessness. Now, uh, and so I just want to point this out again, that all of, the, all of the Qurans around the world are not the same. Different Qurans, I've come to Birmingham and I've just picked up two new versions of the Quran which I don't currently have. And uh, there's 1,354 differences between these two Qurans, changing the, 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 the um, subject of the sentence, the, the pronoun which is being used, or the active or passive, or the verbs, or things like that. So we really need to stop exaggerating about these things. Because it seems to me that for Muslims, all these variants that I've shown, and um, we haven't even looked at... How much time have I got? I've got enough time. No, I may not be finding it here. But um, whenever, we, whenever I show variants for the Quran, what Muslims say is... Oh, it, it, it's all ordained by Allah. All of those variants, all those thousands of variants are, are ordained. But any variant for the Bible, oh, that shows it's corrupted. And so we've got two very different standards that are use, used. Any variant for the Quran that I show, and I've actually got some of the um, Sana manuscripts. So it's worthwhile trying to find it. Uh, in the Sana manuscripts now, we actually have found some of these pre Uthman Qurans. Here we go. So you see those Qurans there. You can actually see the, the script underneath it. And so what they did was they didn't burn all the Qurans as we read in the Hadiths. What they did is they washed them off. And so in Islam, we've got all these different variants. And they're, in the early centuries, they're washing the Qurans, washing all the early Qurans and writing the standard text on top. And we're now discovering these in the Sana manuscripts. And so you'll see in that second quote there, the significance of the Sana 1, Stanford 07 manuscript is that the lower text does not belong to the Uthmatic tradition. In this sense, it is non athmatic That is, it, it's not the, it's, it, the Quran in there it does not belong to these Qurans. It's a completely different constamental text. So who are you, man? I'm the party pooper. Now, I made a distinction in my opening statement, actually my first rebuttal, that what the Muslims have is a case of multiple readings, what the Christians have is a case of variant readings. Let me recite what Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said again. When this Quran has been revealed to me to be recited in seven different ways, so recite of it whichever way is easier for you, or read as much of it as may be easier for you. Now these, we have one skeleton text and multiple ways to recite it that go back to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And our um, different ways of reading it actually complement each other. I gave you one example of God being an owner and God being a king of day of judgment, whereas... Guys, if we want to be honest, and I really want to talk to logical people here, I believe that what he's saying is false in the sense that you can clearly see that if you change a few things, it actually alters, like, actually change the meaning of, like, the verse. You will know, you understand it, and him saying that it's the same thing, like, you know, if we say this translation of the Bible and this translation of the Bible, like let's say King James and NIV, like if you read it, you know that like they're they are similar, just that they are using different ways, like different more like they're using similar stuff to like pass the message to make the to make people understand it easier. That's why they created different versions of the Bible. Like if it is version you understand and like you feel more like read it. If you understand NIV, if you understand King James, if you understand anyone, but this is more like a whole different version like 
Okay, if you say the Bible that we read today is corrupt, fine, like this is the Bible we read, and if you see NIV is similar to this, like any Bible we are saying, they are similar, but this these are current these are current events that are different. Like the meaning are not the same. So like I believe that it, it's good if we honor to the fact that this is what is there, not saying there are seven ways to recite it. Because if you say there are seven ways to recite it, meaning everything is supposed to come out the same thing. More like if, let's use, like, she went to school and... Or let's use, like, she graduated and she's a graduate. You understand that it's the same thing, like, it's the same meaning, but, like, they say it in different ways, but this is actually different, so... Educate me in the comment section, like, educate me. The Bible writers never gave no Christians uh, extra ways of reading their text. Also, the different variants found in the manuscripts, some, some can change Christianity itself. Like, did Jesus tell a lie in John chapter 7? Um, Samuel never touched upon it. Um, was Jesus adopted at the baptism? Samuel never touched on it. You see, the difference between me and Samuel is when I quote arguments against Christianity, I always bring up arguments that the Christians themselves acknowledge. He mentions a lot of things he tells you are by the creation of the male and the female or by the male and the female. He doesn't give the Islamic position on it. He gives you half the story. Yes, they were both revealed by the Prophet, peace be upon him, but one was abrogated and we all united on Usman radiallahu's text. So, you know, like he says, oh, one says Gul, say, another says Kala, but they both complement each other. One says God commanded it, the other said the Prophet said it. As Surah 4, Ayah 80 says, obey Allah and obey his messenger. As William Moore said, a Christian missionary from 200 years ago, who read all these same hadiths that Samuel read, and he tried to claim the Quran has to be preserved, and he was no friend of Islam, William Moore. He says to this day, 12 centuries, there has been no pure text like the Quran. William Moore said that an Orientalist who had an axe to grind with Islam. So we got enemy testimonies who acknowledge that the Quran is preserved. But you, we got your own biblical scholars. You still haven't told us where's Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. You haven't told us where the book of Nathan is. He says, oh, they weren't, meant, they weren't collected. They weren't collected because you ain't got them to collect. So when he claims the Bible's been preserved, he's just um, telling half the story because the Bible itself proves that it hasn't been preserved. He mentions that the Quran has got favorite readings, but I made it clear. The Quran has got multiple readings that go back to the Prophet and they complement each other. They don't contradict each other and change theology like the biblical variants. Guys, like the way I don't know where they tell this video, but it's more like they are denying the research, like somewhere did. Like it's more like they don't accept the fact that oh he made this research and he's talking about it. Yeah, I'm talking from a Christian point of view, and as a Muslim, I feel oh you want to like say what he's saying is wrong, but at least let's take a chill pill. Like let's listen to what he said. It's it's sensible. What he said was sensible if we all want to be honest with ourselves. We know that what he said is meaning to it. Even if we want to deny it, he brought up proof and everyone could see it. So I don't get the reason why we are trying to be fishy here and say like it is it's being read in seven different languages, like in seven different ways, because that isn't saying the same thing. Like the meaning is not the same thing. And him talking about the Bible not being preserved, like where is the early manuscript? I can still say that for the Quran. Because remember, the Quran was collected way after Prophet Muhammad died. Like, I believe that a lot of people have double standards because I don't feel you can attack the Bible without attacking the Quran. Because more like our story happened, it's kind of a life because. Okay, the Bible, the Bible was kind of written way after Jesus died. Or way after Jesus ascended. The New Testament. 
fine. The Quran was written way after Prophet Muhammad left. So, still, this okay, it was collected way after Prophet Muhammad left. And both the, the hadith, because I'm making my research, I think the hadith was collected or was put in a book 200 years after. Like, this, this is a long time for you to say, some memorizing something can hold it in his head for like 200 years. There's no way you can pass the information to your children and there's not going to be any slippage. Like, I, we are humans and this is, we are prone to mistake. And that's why everything was brought down to writing. Because if you tell me something to tell on that person, there's no way I can give the person exactly the same thing you gave me. And like, it's a fact. Well guys, tell me what you think about this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. First.